At first, Elijah did not like school. He hated coming into a program for kids. Here, he takes his coat off on the way coming in the door. He tells me, go to work, Grandma. I'll see you later. At other schools, three schools, Elijah was having problems. A couple he didn't want to go. It's like he feared going there. And they were saying they were having problems with him. And my daughter searched around, and she met Miss Angie. And so she, the first day she talked to Miss Angie, she called me. She said, oh, my God, this teacher is amazing. So we're going to give her a chance. And Miss Angie told her there's no bad kid. And that made her feel comfortable. When Elijah first started, it was a challenge. Um, he had already realized that if he didn't follow directions or if he didn't um, participate or try to hurt somebody or scream, he would be sent home. So the first week, um, he came in and we're like, we're doing group time and he was like, no, nah, and started screaming and started throwing stuff around. And one of the teachers is like, Elijah, why are you doing this? And he was like, are you gonna call my mom? And the teacher's like, no, you're here to learn, so you're gonna stay with us all day, regardless of how you behave. And he was very surprised, but I think it took him aback a little bit. You know, he was just kinda like, he was surprised that we were not gonna send him home, that he had to stay here. So we're like, you don't have to participate in group, you can go sit down and do puzzles, or you can go play with the animals, but we're going to be doing group and you can just do your own stuff without throwing toys. And I think that gave him a different idea as to how education is supposed to be about and not being a cookie cutter student. Not all students want to sit down and do art at the same time. Not all students enjoy art. One of the things that we want to offer at Halley Q is for them to find out what it is that they like to do and they enjoy doing and then grow from there. I think that education is so important and we need it for the rest of our life. You know, we're going to be learning forever. So we want to make it fun for them. And the only way we're going to make it fun is by them letting us know and us using those cues that they give us for us to figure out how they're going to enjoy learning.